Hi there. I've been asked to uh, do a little show and tell of how you build a pilot template through uh, this template wizard. Now, what I'm going to do here is a step-by-step -step guide, or rough tutorial, if you will, of uh, how to do a graphic with uh, text and image and uh, turn that into a template that you can use in Pilot. So what I'll do, first of all, is uh, go to File, Wizard. And I'm just going to use a, uh, a graphic here that we use for a recent demo for ITV. So I'll just drag it over here in my selected scenes. Now, if I click Next, I'll see a list of um, those elements that are available within the scene that I can change. Now, all these different uh, numbers here are the control IDs in my graphic. Um, I could choose not to bring some of them through uh, in the template, but uh, in this case, I want them all. So I'll just click Finish. Like that. So as you see, the wizard itself brought all these elements through. But there's no kind of a link between how this looks um, and the graphic looks. And uh, that's what I'll tweak now. So first of all, I'll set it in play mode and uh, put my graphic to air so that I can see what it actually looks like. Uh, so that I can organize the, the elements here in my template to somewhat match uh, my graphic. So what I'll do first of all is uh, take all these program address program name, which is in the bottom left corner of my graphic. Let's put it down here for now. Headline. Now what I can do here when I select these is uh, just hold down shift to, uh, to select multiples. My headline here needs a bit more space, so I'll just make the box a little bit bigger and my subline as well. I'll just move the image placeholder here. I'll just move that up. Take all these. This is the information I have available here on my right hand side, as you can see in the graphic. So I'll take my program name, my web address, and move down here under the picture as they are in the graphic as well. So what I need to do now is just kind of make this match or pretty it up, if you will, make it uh, presentable. This is what the journalist will see in ActiveX when they view it on the desktop. Um, so it needs to be something that's uh, easy to, to digest and uh, that's, that's easy to understand. So in effect, all it is is uh, fill out blanks to uh, get the graphic on air. So as you can see now, all this should be uh, somewhat matching my uh, my graphic. So I'll just test this by going back to play mode uh, and just put some uh, some uh, text in here. My headline and the subline showing template wizard. And uh, just put in my name. From and in this case it's Evening Studios. Program name. <laughs> and I'll put in our web address. Like that. And I'll just test it and see if it goes on here. Um, I'll just choose an image here. When I click the placeholder here, as you see, it takes me into my uh, object store. I'll just choose an image here. In this case, I'm just using a, a random image just to see if it works. Like that. And that all seems to work fine. So that's it for this tutorial. Nice and easy. Thanks for watching.